Welcome. Today we're gonna talk about Fox vs. Coyote, the 5 key differences. Please subscribe for more amazing videos. For more information on this topic and full coverage, check out the link in the description. The coyote is a specific species of wild canine within the genus Canis, it is closely related to wolves, dogs, and jackals. The fox, on the other hand, is defined as any species within a few different genera, including Vulpus, Lycalopex, and Eurocyon. This means the coyote is fairly uniform in its shape and color, while the fox has a much greater degree of physical variability. It encompasses everything from the all-white arctic fox to the big-eared desert-dwelling fennec fox. But a sharp-eyed person should be able to distinguish a fox and a coyote fairly easily. You just have to know which features to look out for. Comparing Fox versus Coyote Fox Length, 1 to 3 feet, 5 feet with tail included. Weight, 2 to 30 pounds, 1 to 14 kilograms. Color, red, gray, brown, black, white, silver, etc. Distribution, worldwide. Body, long body, short legs, and big ears relative to the size. Coyote Length 3 to 4.5 feet, more than 5 feet with tail included. Weight, 15 to 50 pounds, 7 to 23 kilograms. Color, reddish brown or gray. Distribution, North America. Body, muscular body, shorter legs, and ears relative to the total size. The five key differences between foxes and coyotes. How can a layman with no particular wildlife training tell the difference between a fox and a coyote? Location is generally the easiest way. If you're living outside of North America, then you're almost certainly dealing with a fox because coyotes have a restricted range. But if you're living inside of North America, then identification becomes a lot trickier. You can usually rely on these five basic physical characteristics or behaviors to tell the difference. Body size. On account of its wolf-like heritage, the coyote is, on average, much larger and more muscular than the fox. It usually exceeds 3 feet in length and 2 feet in height. Even the largest species of fox, the red fox, cannot quite measure up to the full size of an adult coyote. Its body is less than 3 feet in length and 20 inches in height. The fox also has much shorter legs and a more tube-shaped body. Many fox species aren't much larger than your typical house cat, although the thick fur usually makes them appear larger than they really are. Coat Color The coyote usually comes in various shades of gray, interspersed with red around the flanks. The coat color of the fox, by contrast, always varies by species. The most common coat colors are red, gray, silver, and yellowish-brown. While you might be tempted to believe that the red fox is easy to identify by the rusty red coat color, you should keep in mind that this species also has several different color morphs, including gray, silver, and blackish brown. Tail The fox has a long, bushy tail, almost as long as the body itself. It is sometimes capped off with a white or black tip. You may notice that the tail has the tendency to hang in the air when the fox runs. The coyote has a shorter tail, relative to body size, and it tends to hang down when the coyote runs. It's also not quite as bushy as the fox tail. Living Arrangements and Social Behavior The coyote, while not quite as social and gregarious as the wolf, is also a pack animal that lives together with several other family members and even sometimes non-family members. Mating season is the only time the coyote will voluntarily use a den. Otherwise, they sleep and rest above ground. The fox, by contrast, is a solitary animal outside of the breeding season, sometimes sharing its territory with other members of its immediate family. It lives in a den or burrow with a tunnel network and defined chambers. Vocalizations Coyotes are among the most vocal of all wild canines in the world. They can be identified by their long, plaintive, wolf-like howls, rising and falling in pitch, sometimes interspersed with yips, yelps, and barks. The fox, by contrast, does make some howling noises, but it's most easily identified by the high-pitched whining or yelping sound. They sound very little like a wolf or dog. Thank you for checking this video. If you wish to give your opinion, please comment below, we'd love to hear from you. 
be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.